Our daughter, Sarah, was an amazing, beautiful girl. She also happened to be a very talented distance runner. Sadly, Sarah died by suicide in April of 2022. We knew she had been dealing with some anxiety, but we just didn't know how overwhelming her life as a student athlete had become for her. Like so many of her friends and family, we did not think this was possible for someone who seemed to be so strong, so successful, and so loved. I'm here to tell you about my extraordinary daughter, Arlena Janelle Miller. Arlena committed suicide on May 4th, 2022. She walked into the Mississippi River. I got a call from the athletic director at Southern University telling me that my daughter um, had died. And all I can remember is screaming and feeling like somebody took my heart out my chest. On July 11th, 2019, we lost our daughter Morgan to suicide. Morgan was 22 years old and in her fourth year at Duke University, she played for the women's lacrosse team. It was only after Morgan's passing that we were able to piece together information regarding the struggles she was enduring. But sadly, we know in hindsight that she struggled silently and alone due to the stigma that surrounds mental illness. We won't stop fighting until the world starts talking about mental health because no one should ever lose their Morgan. Well, I wanna thank all of you for being here um, to talk about this. Um, it would be so much easier not to, because I know it's hard to give this a voice. And, um, but it's something that needs to be, it needs to be talked about. And the thing that I think bothers me the most, and having been a Division I athlete on a scholarship in college, I know how much of a community that is, how much you're surrounded by people close to you, so this is really being missed when you have this many people around you. It's not being talked about. And Donna and Kurt, this was yeah. truly a shocker. Well, and of course, in hindsight, when we really analyze what was going on, um, there, there probably were very, very subtle signs. Nothing was extraordinary or extreme. Yeah. She was so driven. She was absolutely excited about the, the, the academic rigor. She was excited about her schedule. She was excited about the practice and the, and the competition level. Hers stemmed from an injury, and that's what we believe was the start of her, of her downfall. And that's something she couldn't control, because no matter how hard you work, healing time takes healing time. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's some things you just can't press, you just can't hustle through. Bridget and Scott, you, you say that Sarah was a high achiever, successful, private, introverted, but very much someone that held herself to, to a very high standard. Yeah, she was the oldest of our three daughters and I think just was always held herself to a higher standard, put herself a little bit on a pedestal, always wanted to be the best. Mm -hmm. And when you learned that she, in fact, had died by suicide, did you think this was an impulsive decision? Do you think this is something that she wrestled with for a long period of time? What, what, what is your analysis of that? I think we're still, we're still learning. Um, I think at the time we thought it was very impulsive. And, I mean, we know to some degree that, that you know, her last day, it was something that came to her that day. We did speak with her, but there was nothing. It was a, yeah, it was a hard day and she was going through stuff, but it was nothing that we had information on. We've, we've learned more as, as we've gone back mm -hmm. and, and she definitely kept things from us that we didn't know and we probably would have liked to have known maybe that you know, she was, she was struggling with more mental health issues. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.